Hot damn. Did you count them? I ain't lying. Y'all about, about to get freaky up there. <laughs> That's right.
Super 8 and I bush hog this down with a Super 8. From experience, a dove likes clean ground to put his feet on. It's still about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks of dove season. I don't know, plan on maybe two or three people even hunting, hunting this. I hunt it the first two or three hours. I get what I want. Not to stink the pan up, as they say, and I go home. But um, I'm going to bog hair this twice that I chop the stubbles up and get a look. He, he, the dove like to see clean ground where, where he's going to stop and eat at. And then another week, my next week or something, I'll bush all four more rows. That's four rows there. They're not quite dried out yet. That's why I didn't want to do too much at one time because I kind of wasted that. That's kind of give them something to kind of stop and check check it out kind of deal. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bog this this one more time and we're going to let it, let it sit for a while. This is the conclusion of it, the conclusion video for my dove plot. Everything's gone, knocked in the ground. I'm gonna till it. I'm gonna run this tiller's tool over here, that's what we call it. Jitterbug, tiller's tool, reaper, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, let me put some light on this situation where you can see it. Yeah, fix my lights on here. I got some LED bulbs ordered for them. I had the seal beam ones, but they won't fit these these older ones. Anyway, we're going to put LED bulbs in it. Anyway, dove plot. I did not do no hunting footage of none of the hunt. And the reason I did that way was because I don't want to uh, attract any unneeded attention on my part you know from agencies or whatnot sniffing through my stuff you know i've seen that happen on multiple channels and i that's just just troubling problems that i don't need so i no no gun related firearm related stuff i'm gonna have on my channel as of now but I didn't, so I didn't film none of the hunt. I filmed the little short clip of the results. Oh, I don't know what the exact numbers were, but it's, I don't know, it's in the 80s, I guess, on the total. But I spliced that in there somewhere. And I got a bunch of clips in here of me getting the, you know, the plot re prepared to hunt with the disc and all that good stuff and the bush hogging and then disking it in and how I did it. I basically bush hogged and disked it in four rows, skipped four, left four standing, and did four, not bush hogged and disked in four more rows and then left the other four standing and then four more. And those on 32 inch rows. So they did great. They kept the grass choked out. So I it was I now, now I want to go out on a limb and say I'm gonna do my corn on 32 inch rows. That's the closest I can get my 140 and still get in there and work it, if that makes any sense. I can't get no closer than that and be able to get the tractor in it. The M would fit in it on 32 inch rows. My 140 would fit in it. It's tight. On a stalkity, on some with a stalk, I'm thinking that's going to work great. Something's got a lot of leg, skinny leg on it like corn. 
And I, I might try some, if I can get my hand on the seed, I might try me some um, Milo sorghum or even millet next year to add in. And I might add another plot down at the other end away from this one. And uh, we're going to do, I'm starting to break this up and rip the grass out. And then uh, we're just going to run it. We're gonna, I'm going to really bury it. And I'm going to video some of that. The really buried on the back of the fast hitch on the 140. I get a little couple of pieces of video of that. And um, I said, none of this stuff is done for show or videos, nothing. That's stuff I'm going to do. And I've been doing it, not the exact same equipment, but I've been doing it for a while now. And I just, last year, I started videoing it. So people like to see this old stuff in action. And we got, got some lights here now. Some light on the situation. But um, that's plenty bright enough there. But I got an LED on the back. So I just going to put an LED on the front too. A bulb. Anyway. But um, the dove hunt sunflowers on 32-inch rows was a, definitely a success. I'm going to definitely do it again and going to do more sunflowers next year. And I want to touch on something real quick. You see why I don't do much with the fall stuff. I got the bush hog and I unhooked the bush hog this afternoon. I got to hook it back up. I unhooked it. So I wanted to use this, this uh, tiller's tool behind the M because it, it'll it pull it all the way down low as it'll go. And it covers my tire tracks up perfectly. So it's pretty cool in the video with this yellow light. Looks old and traditional. But um, anyway, I said... You know, this stuff I've been doing X amount of years now. This is the second year when I dove sunflowers. sunflowers. The, ch the channel was already up and started and running. It was it was, it was was uh, not too good. This year was a whole lot better. I had a whole lot better stand. Next year, I'm going to get seed plates for the planter. Uh, actual, I'm going to get actual sunflower seed plate with a filler ring to go in my 185 planter. And I'm going to actually buy some actual sunflower seed. And on this other end over here, way at the other end on the other side of our house, I'm a, where, the, where the power line is, I'm gonna do another plot over there. And I'm and I'm gonna do non-GMO. It's like fifty dollars for a fifty pound bag of actual seed. And um I'm gonna cultivate it with the palm oil. And put fertilizer on it with the palm oil. But um I said the doves was, the sunflowers, the dove plot was a great success. I walked over here, walked back. My house is right across the road over there. Great. I enjoyed it. Mostly just family members here. That's really all was here. Uh, yeah, every, yeah, everybody here was family. We were little friends. We kept it small. Like I said, I do most of it. Two other family members, they helped me when I asked them to. You know, they're going to they gonna drag the seed in. I'm going to break it up with the M. And I'm putting together, putting together something like a chain link, something simple and easy. I'm going to break everything. I'm going to cut everything with the, I'm going to cut everything with the bog harrow. So now I'm going to till it. I'm going to run this tiller tool over it. And we're going to just run a drag across it, a chain link with a piece of wood over it. Hopefully that's the plan. I'm going to take a piece of chain link fence, dog kennel fence, and uh, I'm going to really bury the seed with the 140. Right, so I already bogged hair, all the stalks and all. And then did done the bog hair. The bush all did the bog, bog hair. Now I'm going to run this tiller tool over it. And then we're going I'm going to really bury the seed. I might throw a little lime on it. And then we're just going to drag it out. I'm going to try it. I got one more day of bush hogging left to do. And I'm going to do a final episode video on that. And I'm in this video, maybe two or three weeks out. As I, I got a lot of bush hogging videos. I try not to just cram my channel with all kind of uh, the same content. If it makes any sense. Just bush hogging, bush hogging, bush hogging, bush hogging. I try not to do that. But and then at the end, I'm going to put all of those short clips together and make one video. And then we'll just bush hogging. But, um, Anyway, bog hair, bush hog, bog hair, tillers tool, drag it, or seed it, seed it and put a little lime on it, then drag it out, and that's it. We're done. I got I got one more day of bush hogging to do. I got to go get some hog feed, corn, 
I gotta get some corn for the pigs Saturday. Then we got one more day of bush hog. We're gonna probably do that Sunday. And hopefully I can get most of the cover crops done this week. Hopefully. With the M. Just the M and the 140 in a drag. I'm gonna use the 140 right in the house. Man, down the road. It plots down the road. I'm not taking the 140. I'm just gonna take the M and I'm gonna use a hand really very down there. I'm not driving two track two tracks. I'm just gonna take the M with a drag or some sort of behind a four wheel or whatever works. Throw it on the back of this, whatever. And that's it. We're gonna be done with the cover crops. But anyway, the dub plot was a great success. Gonna do do it better next year, hopefully. Gonna do more and do it better next year. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is gonna conclude the dub plot. Yeah, we're gonna get got these lights working on this thing here. We'll do it in the dark. I'm going to do some clips on this while I'm tilling with it. All right. Thanks for watching.